Welcome back my fantastic friends. Can you spot the difference? And guess what? Master Temple, I'm on trial. <laughs> now this is pretty much a continuation of my old round pound video and if you haven't seen that there'll be a little link somewhere up here and go uh, go check that out and, and then come back and we can take it from there but the old round pound it got replaced by this 12 sided new pound coin back in 2017 and it needed to there were so many fakes and forgeries this new pound had to you know like have so many security features that it made you know the counterfeiting operations virtually impossible to forge this coin but before that before this coin got released trials had to be done now trial coins are nothing new they're done practically all the time to to test the structure of a coin or or test the composition ensure that the components fit together correctly test the dies demonstrate new details of the portrait of the of the monarch and ultimately to be approved by Her Majesty, the Chancellor, and other important figures. But these are usually done in, in, in like lead and stay relatively in house. But because of the revolutionary shape of the new one pound coin, trials had to be done further afield. So back in 2015, before the round pound was withdrawn and the new 12 sided coin came into circulation, a trial piece was issued. They were issued to manufacturers and banks, retailers who needed to recalibrate and adapt the coin handling machinery for sizing and weighting. Like machines such as vending machines and parking meters, ticket machines, coin lockers and self-service tills, they all needed to be checked and changed. They were also sent out to institutions such as banks and supermarkets and coin handlers. They needed to educate themselves with the, with the trial coin which was the same weight and size of the incoming new 12 sided one pound coin. So once issued to all these retail outlets and they'd tried and tested all the, the uh, machinery against this new 12 sided coin, the trial coins needed to be returned to the Royal Mint. But with about, you know, 200,000 distributed, it's highly unlikely that all of them will be returned and some could prove quite interesting to collectors. So who owns this coin? Well, as it stands, I think I do because I purchased this in good faith from a coin, uh, from a coin dealer. They got it from a sealed bag of, of trial pieces, but we'll get on to what the Royal Mint think about that in, uh, in a few moments. I just want to compare a few of the features that this trial had that the, uh, that the new pound coin has. So if we flip this coin over, and I'm going to try and zoom in. You can just about make out the micro lettering just under the border there. That says one pound. It does actually say one pound. I don't know if we can pick that up, but it does say one pound. One pound, one pound, one pound, one pound. Okay, we've also got the fourth portrait of Her Majesty by Ian Rank Broadly. And you can tell this this looks like it's been rattled around in a in a bag full of other coins, not been in circulation. That that is for sure. But it has been in a bag full of other coins. We've got the milled edge and the plain edge, just there. The weight feels the same, though I haven't got any calibrated scales that can that can weigh this. But um, the weight does feel the same. We flip the coin over. There is no micro lettering on the underside of this here, just around this rim, which there would be on the new pound coin. Okay, let's get the other coin, let's get this one. Okay, so this is, this is basically a circulated one pound coin, but I took this out of circulation because it look, looks pretty neat. I also have a bunk one that I'll show you in a second as well. But there's micro lettering there. You can see a little bit of a hologram, which does change. There we go, does change as it catches the light. We've got the fifth portrait, Jodie Clark's portrait of Her Majesty on this side. I don't know what's happening inside the coin, but that's apparently it's a security feature. We have got the milled and the plain edge there. They're the same size. Let's, let's get them together. 
They look the same, don't they? They do. They feel the same. They just feel tactilely, they feel the same. And the security features of the this side of the coin get them close enough. We can see the date the micro lettering just round about here and here and here and here. So yeah, that's the trial coin. Right, let's get let's get out a little bit. There we go. Right, so what does the Royal Mint say about this? So these samples have been issued under strict terms and conditions and remain the property of the Royal Mint at all times. They are struck with a trial design and are not legal tender. Unfortunately, we are aware that some samples have been listed on auction sites. However, as per terms and conditions agreed by stakeholders at point of purchase, samples should be returned to the Royal Mint. Following the testing, so following the trials and the testing, I believe. So once they, once the trials and tested have been carried out, these should have been returned to the Royal Mint. They should not be passed on or sold to any third party, like, like myself, I suppose. The Royal Mint is following all the appropriate channels to have these listings removed and are taking advice from a legal team to recover the property as necessary. Right, so could the Royal Mint take this from me? I don't know, I don't know. But uh, if, if, I don't know, if they get me a kind letter, I suppose I'd have no choice, would I? But what would you do, folks? What would you do? Right. Let me know. Let me know down in the uh, the comments. Do you have a trial coin? Do you have this trial coin? I mean, I know there was two pound trial coins that can fetch an hefty price. But what makes the the two pound trial coin so valuable? I think is the collectability of two pound coins. The the new one pound coin has not got many. Well, it's only got one design to collect, really. Uh, the old round pound had 25 or so so that's possibly why the two pound coin trial is is a little bit more there's, there's there's about 60 or so 70 or so different designs of the two pound coin these when they first came out these were quite expensive as well but um they sort of like come down a little bit but um yeah and there are fakes and forgeries of these trial coins as well, which is which is kind of crazy to say that this was a coin designed to to fight fakes and forgeries, and and the fakes and forgeries have, have now gone onto the trials. It, it seems bizarre, highly bizarre. But, but yeah, this is definitely not a fake or a forgery. I can tell you that. But let me know down in the comments. What's your views? What's your thoughts? Have you got this? Have you got another trial coin? And until next time, my fantastic friends. Take care of the Sen, stay safe, and as always, have the Sen an happy day.